Good morning, Iowa. It is bright out there, as you can tell. Take a look at this sunrise in downtown Des Moines. It is uh, almost blinding through the camera lens. You're going to need a lot of sunglass action today. Also sunscreen. It is very pleasant out there this morning, though. We're only at 65 in Des Moines, 67 in Grinnell, low 60s in northern Iowa. It is low humidity out there as well, and we are expecting a pretty nice day overall. Plenty of sunshine, a little bit warmer temperatures in the low 80s by 11 AM, and we get to 89 today in the metro area. It'll be in the upper 80s in Fort Dodge Carroll as well. 88 this afternoon in Ames. Otherwise, it's a pretty quiet day. We do have spotty rain chances. There actually could be a spotty shower north of Highway 20 this afternoon. For the rest of us, it's going to hold off until tomorrow. Cloud cover will increase as we go through the day. We've got a cold front that will be coming from the north and a stationary front down to our south. Those two will work together to spark up hit and miss showers and thunderstorms, mainly for southwestern and western Iowa. We might get lucky in central Iowa, but this is the pure definition of hit and miss, meaning a lot of us are going to stay rain free. Most of the heaviest action will stay down in Missouri. So going through our day today, still sunshine through lunchtime, a couple of high clouds in the afternoon, maybe a spotty shower or two, not expecting any storm action in northern Iowa. Again, Highway 20 and north as we go into the day tomorrow. There comes the increase in cloud cover through lunchtime and then more spotty showers and maybe a rumble of thunder going into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Again, notice a lot of us wind up missing out on that and severe weather not expected here. It should be good weather for girls state softball in Fort Dodge today and decent for boys state baseball in Des Moines as well. Our temperature outlook as we look ahead into the beginning of August could be a little cooler than average, also a little drier than average. You'll see that reflected here on the 10 day tracker. A lot of good weather heading our way once we get past the isolated rain. It looks like a solid weekend and solid start to August overall with highs in the low 80s.